So, you've started a YouTube channel. You got all the stuff you need except for a thumbnail. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in GIMP once again, taking a look at how to make some custom thumbnails for your own YouTube videos. There's so many different ways to do this, and there's so many types of videos, so it's not going to be exactly perfect for everything. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and shed some light on some things that I usually do when I make thumbnails. And what I'm going to do is I have this picture of uh, Serum, which is a VST, a uh, musical VST, which is this picture right here. So I want to make a video saying, uh, should you buy Serum, which is, like I said, it's a paid VST for music production. So what I'm going to do is... I, I want to make sure I know what the video is about. So the video is obviously about would you know, probably informing people if they should buy serum or not. So I want to keep in mind that that should all come across in the thumbnail. A lot of the times people don't want to read the title. So it's usually best to have everything you want people to focus on and know in the thumbnail. So that usually means some kind of text, some kind of image of what's going on. Um, but this is the problem. You'll scroll through YouTube and you'll see a lot of YouTubers not do this. And you go, well, they don't do that. Well, that's because they're already famous. <laughs> <laughs> they do what they want. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to put that off to, to the left-hand side because if you keep in mind, the timestamp is usually somewhere down here, which on YouTube nowadays, it's actually really pretty small. So that's not really a thing people worry about too much anymore. Back in the day, that was a big thing, the timestamp covering, covering over top of things. So the background is also a very important thing because we have a lot of different options. We can go with a solid color background, which if I scroll this down, you can see it's pretty eye-catching, um, but it kind of it kind of it loses the specific you know kind of realistic natural feel because if i were just go ahead and duplicate this big this big serum vst by right clicking hit and duplicate up there and scaling this up to as big as the canvas is and then moving it over to the center so it covers everything moving it behind the other piece of serum and then blurring it so go to filter blur gaussian blur you can see that if i just blur this and of course we'll have to brighten it in a second but i'll blur that maybe about 80 and then we'll brighten this you can see that we have a much more natural looking background, which looks much more smooth and much nicer to look at than the yellow does. But I think personally, the yellow is more eye catching. So this is also a conundrum you'll have uh, quite a lot. The difference between prettiness and this and, and, and you know, the, the yellow. So this is obviously much more pretty. It fits better with the, the, the image. I think it looks much prettier, but that's the thing. It doesn't always have to be pretty. It has to be eye-catching for people to uh, want to click on it. The, the clickability of the video is, is, is very important. That's all you're doing pretty much. Um, so like I said, this video is about maybe wanting to do, uh, maybe wanting to find out about some, if you should buy serum. So there's going to be money involved. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to open up a new text right there and just drag that box open. And I'm going to type in two dollar signs here. These two dollar signs are obviously going to catch people's attention because people are always like money. They're like, what's up with some money? So I'm going to go ahead and change this font because this uh, doesn't recognize dollar signs. We'll change that to piece. There we go. And um, I'll just bump that scale up to about 500 and make that really big in people's faces. And I'll, I'll choose like a nice little green color here. Um, and now the visibility of everything on the thumbnail is also very important. So to make sure you can see everything very properly, I'll go ahead and just scale that up a little bit. Uh, we'll do something like this and move that over. Now my thumbnails, uh, I've changed my thumbnail style a couple of times recently, but now I, I'm, I'm sticking with what I got because I, I found, found something that works and I love it a lot. But my thumbnail style is very similar to this kind of. It doesn't usually have uh, too much going on. It has the solid color background, the, the focus of whatever it is, and then some words over here. But this isn't words. This is a nice little uh, image. So you can see the visibility of this, the background is not very good. So we have a couple different options. We can either go ahead and go to the eyedrop tool, I'm sorry, the fuzzy select tool, and select both of these, you know, hold down shift to select more than one thing, and then it's select, grow, and then grow this selection by maybe 10 pixels, hit okay on that, add a layer underneath this, so hit this little icon down here, and then hit okay, make sure that's underneath the dollar signs, and then we can choose a color, like we can either choose white or black, and just fill that in, now you can see we have a little bit more visibility, you can do that, and maybe I can make it black, uh, invert, make it black, you see the visibility of that's much higher than before, which is nicer, you know, but once again, not the, not the super prettiest thing, you can also blur that, if you, you know, just get creative, you can, you can come up with a couple different things, if you blur that, you might be able to see it a bit better, uh, but you can see how this gets the point across of serum and money, but it doesn't get across every single point that I want to get across, it doesn't really, you know, have a lot of, hey, should you buy this, it's like, oh, serum money, yeah, I know it costs money, but what about that? Yeah, so we'll go ahead and just add, open up a new text right here, and we'll just type in what I want people to know. I'll type in, uh, should you buy serum? And maybe a question mark. 
so people know it's a question. It's easier to see it's a question when there's a question mark, obviously. Um, so we'll go ahead and just scale that up a little bit. And I want to change this font because uh, that's not working for me. The font is a very big deal, too. Make sure it's bold enough. People can see it, but not so bold. People lose the letters because I like the way it looks um, for this specific design. Go ahead and choose that, yeah, that yellow. Uh, just fill that in the background there. And then we can we can either decide to use black for this word, these words or white. Now, white, um, you could use white, you could see, but I think black stands out a bit better. Some specific colors just look better with other colors, obviously. I'm also going to go ahead and brighten the subject. So a lot of times it'll be too dark. You want to make sure the contrast is the contrast and saturation is a bit higher for the thumbnail because uh, things get lost the smaller that it is. So I'm going to boost that. Just go, I, I, I'm sorry, I went up to colors, curves there. Um, I'm going to boost the top end and I'm just going to lower the bottom end there to boost that contrast. That's the difference there. You can see it's uh, much easier to see. Um, you don't even really notice uh, when you don't know. So there we go. Hit OK on that. I'm also going to bump the saturation up almost to a point where it, if it was up close, then it would be too much. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to boost this all the way. That looks good like that, I think. Um, and then we're just going to scroll that back. You can see the difference between those two. That was the brightness and now the saturation. There you go. So now it looks much better from further away. I'm going to get rid of those guides by just holding down shift, dragging with the move tool, get rid of those because we don't need them anymore. So now we have this secondary thumbnail, which also looks good, but uh, I think it could look a bit, a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and take both of these kind of examples and kind of smush them together. So let's go up and do the third uh, thumbnail design here. I like the background a lot for that one. We're going to scale it up a little bit um, and we're going to rotate it a little bit because I like to rotate things. Uh, if, you, if you've seen my thumbnails, you know that. We'll just move that over a little bit just the left hand side like I said you could do the right hand side but I do I do want this not to be cut off down here and like I said the timestamps are pretty small on YouTube now but just keep that in mind keep that in mind especially with new YouTube studio beta so uh, they're rolling that out and it's gonna be the timestamps are so small they're almost non-existent um, so we're gonna go ahead and just grab that text editor once again but I'm gonna do this a little different dip, a little bit different this time should in a separate one right so should is gonna be all by itself we're gonna separate each one of these these words here I'm gonna scale this up to 400 change it to white Looks good. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move that over here. Now this is too big, so that's that's fine. We'll just uh, scale it down a little bit from 400 to 350, maybe a little bit more than that, probably. I want to also make sure I have a border around the edge, so as everything's not like touching or super close. Uh, so that's should, and we're gonna go ahead and duplicate that. Right click that, and right click the word over here, should, and then we're gonna go U. This is what I like to do. So I have independence of each one of these words here. I have the freedom to move them around wherever I want, scale them without having to worry about messing something up. So I'm going to scale that one down a little bit more so you can tell that that's should you buy, not should you buy, or whatever that would be. Uh, I'm also going to rotate the word you and buy. I'll rotate this way, and maybe I'll move it down a little bit, fill in that space. Maybe I'll scale it up just a wee bit like that. And then I'll rotate should as well that way. I'm going to go ahead and move this to the other side because the text is a bit more important than seeing the bottom piece of this uh, serum logo, the serum uh, 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 VST. So we're going to move that over. So now I'm really liking the way this is coming out. I'm going to rotate this to the other side now because it's on the other side. I like doing that uh, for the right hand side. There we go. So now you can see we have uh, both of the things that I want. I have the text explaining to people what's going on, and I have the actual uh, so uh, focus of the the thumbnail. So I'm going to brighten that again, darken the bottoms, and saturate it so we have that nice vibrancy i'm going to duplicate it once again scale it up just like we did before and we're going to move it on over overlay that into the background like we did earlier we have three different styles here this one doesn't really get across should you buy it this one does but it's a bit more difficult to see down at smaller levels and it, it kind of feels off and unbalanced we fix the balance now there's something on the left hand side and something on the right hand side you can clearly see should you buy serum uh, I should I should have put a question mark there. That's my mistake. Uh, but yeah, so that looks much better in my opinion. We'll go ahead and put that on there. Put that over there. So now you see serum. You see the big words catch people's attention. You see the the yellow background, which you could easily hue shift to a different color if you want to. Like that purple looks pretty good, I guess. Kind of darker. You want to keep in mind. You want to keep it nice and bright if you can. So that that bluish green seafoam teal kind of looks great too. The blue always looks good. Blue is always an attractive color to people. Blue people like blue and people like yellow. Um, but more people like blue than they like yellow. So I, if I if I was trying to get people to click this, no matter what, I would definitely go with this gorgeous blue style. So we'll do that. So I hope you boys and girls learned something new. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next tutorial. But until then, bye bye.